My favorite movie, All the President's Men, is a two-hour, 18-minute film and a 349-page book, and your attention span is way too short for that. Luckily, with the power of the internet, you can have me explain it all to you in under three minutes, then get back to... Uh, pineapple pen. Whatever that is. So basically, there were these five old guys burglarized in a hotel where the Democratic headquarters were, but they were bad at it, so somebody noticed and called the cops. Their friend tried to warn them the police were there. Hey guys, the police are here. Guys, guys, the police are here. Guys! They got caught by the police. It's big news and their court hearing is coming up, so Bob Squidward from the Washington Post gets called in to check it out. He thinks that he finds their lawyers and is about to interview them, but joke's on you. Somehow all the burglars have their own lawyer already. Woodward's like, that's pretty weird, and he finds out that these guys have a bunch of government connections. He goes back home and starts writing the story, but this this freaking guy, this freaking Carl freaking Bernstein over here, he keeps taking his freaking papers before he can turn them in. Hey, why are you keep on taking my paper? I'm a better writer than you. Shut up, let me see that. Yeah, okay. Whatever. So they start working on the story together, which is neat, but they can't really figure out where to go next. This is where Bob's friend Deep Throat comes in. Deep Throat is Bob's ninja friend in the FBI who lives in a parking lot and is afraid of cars. Deep Throat is real cryptic and he just tells Bob that they need to follow the money to uncover the conspiracy. Follow the money? Where? Oh, he disappeared. They follow the money and find out that the burglars were working with the people at the committee to re-elect the president, a bunch of creepy dudes who want to keep President Nixon in the White House and were trying to make sure the opposition couldn't win. Carl harasses a woman who works there until she gives him some initials of people who were involved. They also talk to Hugh Sloan and Don Segretti. My main goal is to blow up. Master Shifu and the electric horsemen think they've figured out the officials involved in the corruption. But when they publish their story, some of their sources publicly deny implicating a certain dude, which ruins their credibility. Desperate, Bob goes to talk to Deep Throat again, and Deep Throat finally spills the beans, telling him they were right about that dude, but that the conspiracy goes way deeper than they thought. Okay, but could you just help me with- oh, come on! Bob and Carl, knowing they're right, go speak to the head editor Ben Bradley about what they've learned. Ben gives them a pep talk, and they get right back on it, not stopping until they've exposed the president and all his men. Apple pen, pineapple pen, uh, pineapple, apple pen.